It is 645. Welcome back. Cities and counties across the country are now taking up the topic of policing and COVID-19 policies. Even in many of our smaller communities, that conversation is going on. The Arvin City Council discussing uh, some uh, uh, issues regarding masks in public places and businesses. Joining us this morning is Mayor Jose Garola. Thank you for uh, joining us live this morning. We appreciate it. Good morning and thank you for having me. Uh, first, can you begin by just explaining uh, what was passed last night in regards to masks and Arvin area businesses? Yes, uh, we give it a second go round uh, on the ordinance that requires businesses to put a sign uh, on their premises, encouraging their customers to wear masks. That sign will be provided for and paid for by the city. And um, it does not require customers to wear masks in order to enter that business. Again, we are relying on the goodwill of the people of Arvin to be able to wear the masks. Uh, we're not at the point where uh, we want to require everybody to wear masks. Um, and we did this in response to continuing to see the numbers in Arvin uh, not go down uh, and track with the county. But we are willing and uh, to entertain the potential to expand uh, that mask requirement if the numbers don't uh, improve and the situation does not improve. Our focus is the health and safety of the residents here in Arvin. You know, I believe the last time that you joined us live, you were talking there, there was a little bit of resistance when that was uh, first proposed. Do you find that people are now becoming more receptive? The more and more I'm going now and the more the time passes, the more I see people wearing masks. Uh, the, the one constituent I called in uh, with respect to this topic was in support of the mask ordinance. We did not receive any pushback. I have not gotten any calls from any businesses mm -hmm. opposing this ordinance. And so I think that this is a step in the right direction. And the people of Arvin are starting to uh, to comply with some of these orders. Uh, in regards to policing, uh, many uh, or communities are now taking a step and looking at many procedures involving their departments. Uh, what is the first step that Arvin is taking uh, down that road? Well, we're seeing our uh, demonstrations all up and down the country here in Kern County, and we had a couple of protests uh, against police brutality in support of uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. uh, I was able to join both of those protests along with some of my colleagues uh, here in Arvin. And uh, what policing uh, looks like within the community. And so what the city of Arvin decided to do, we discussed last night, to begin a conversation on reviewing our policing uh, procedures here within the community. And it looks like uh, we're gonna move forward with doing so by creating a commission. Um, that will go before the city council at a future meeting. But um, uh, we wanna take a look at how we can improve. Just because we're reviewing does not mean that uh, we think there's anything bad. Certainly Arvin doesn't have the issues uh, that some of the other jurisdictions in Kern County have, um, but uh, we can always have improvement. And that's certainly what we're looking forward to do. Uh, in response to these protests and these demonstrations, we have to go beyond Zoom community meetings, beyond attending protests and giving lip service. We have to take substantive action and reform where it's needed. And uh, we're certainly beginning the conversation here in the city of Arvin. And we hope that other communities and agencies throughout Kern County uh, do so as well. Mayor Jose Garola with uh, City of Arvin will be following along with your progress. We want to thank you for joining us this morning and best of luck. Thank you for having me.